It's a lightweight bout between Max Holloway and Bruce Lee. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC. Here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Bless Hall. The Blessed Express <laughs> is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway and his preparation. Drew a Wyan to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibits when he stepped into the opposite. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer BJ oh. Penn, Max Blessed Holloway. Few guys are going to be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five round in the UFC lightweight division. It's reducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Riding out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blessed Holloway! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or... It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Nice kick landed there by Holloway. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Good work there on the feet by Max Holloway. We'll see if he can close the show. Max Holloway's looking to finish. Max Holloway's on his game. 
Max is looking good. Max is ready to become the king of the featherweight once again. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Nice. Coming, it's blocked. Holloway not having it. And now he's got that tight finish. Over and over, he's landed his big body kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Oh. Oh, man, head kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Let's go. Set up that Beautiful leg kick thrown. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. What a body kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Holloway gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Oh, beautiful combination there from Max Holloway. The West Express firmly on the track tonight. Once he's rolling, Max Holloway is a real problem. And right now, he's got everything working for him. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. So 37 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Big kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Huge block there. Real sneaky body kick. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round.
Let's go fight. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Dig and kick. Outstanding job there by Max Holloway to move the head off the center line and counter beautifully with that jab. I mean, move, counter. He is recognizing what his opponent is doing before he's doing it, and he's countering it beautifully. Blocks the shot. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. It's there, the uppercut. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And they separate. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. And he continues to work the body here. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Beautiful strike. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Powerful leg kick land. Max Holloway at his best in the stand-up here tonight. Could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blesstein? Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Trying to establish that jab once again. And they separate. Leg kick. Nice straight punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Put him down. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Looking to land the leg kick now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Lands the right hand. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. And they separate. The combinations are flowing. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Holloway gets hit by that leg kick. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Fifteen seconds. Oh, big head kick lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 
And there comes the separation now. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good punch. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. And he caught the kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice move, punch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big power shot there. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Beautiful head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Punch over the top. Okay. Oh, Superman punch lands. Throws the right hand there. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guys to try to break this immediately. Beautiful body. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he 
he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big body kick, left hand punch from the clinch. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice body. Lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land. That yeah. Trying to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Good stick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Oh, yep. big left. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice defense there, huge block. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than that. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, misses with the jab. Nice spinning attack there and able to land to the body. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. Right there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's mixing up his target, he's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he caught the kick. Nice strike. Liver kicks. 
just out of range with the big right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And he landed the right hand there. One minute. Big head kick land. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Holloway whiffs on the left there. Nice punch by Holloway. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Big kick lands. And lands the left there. That was a thudding leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Right hand punches the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Strikes the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and landing with beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Way to hide that leg kick. Plus right hand is true. Ooh, what a punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Holloway gets lit up by that straight punch. Good punch, land. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Beautiful kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Real nice body kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally it's the hands. Tonight he's going kick after kick after kick. That's a good strike right here. Under three minutes now to go round five. All the way going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Lunges forward with a left there. Head kick lands. Big kick lands. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one two there by Holloway. Big head kick lands. Oh, a huge block there. Just missing on the high kick there. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Nice punch, Lance. 
Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, that's a good counter there. The straight punch lands finally. Just missed with the straight left hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. Some nice back and forth action here. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Ooh, big shot, man. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Holloway's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. And that one certainly found the target. Shot is blocked there by Holloway. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, smaller tie. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision the judges score the contest 48 47 50 45 and 49 46 declaring the winner by unanimous decision Max Blast Holloway. all right so there he is